there is this very common uh, mix up between these two sounds sir and sh this is a fun little graphic that describes that difference between words when sir is used and sh is used there is a funny shloka which describes that distinction we we'll look at this shloka first and then we we'll go back and see how those uh, meanings differ the shloka goes yadyapi bahunadhishe tathapi pathaputra vyakaranam svajana svajano ma bhut sakalam shakalam sakrit shakrit so yadyapi even if bahunadhishe even if you do not go deep into that study if you don't study that too much tathapi even then pathaputra vyakaranam study o san grama o study the grama o san swajana swajano ma bhut may swajana not become swajana and may sakala not become shakala and may sakrat not become shakrit why should they not be interchanged like that why should why should swajana not become swajana why why should shakti not become sakti and why should uh, uh, sakala not become shakala because this is the distinction between both those words swajana is one's own people swa is self jana is people shwa is a dog jana is again people or, or a group ja is birth and jana is you know people of the same birth so swajana is a pack of dogs so that is the distinction between swajana and swajana sakalam is everything the whole sakala shakala is a fragment or a piece now sakrat is at once immediately jhatiti shakrat is excrement it's literally shit so you see the distinction between sa and sh now i know that there, there are so many people who love their regional languages especially bengalis and gujaratis who, for whom this interchange is almost natural it is very fascinating that on the east with bengal sa becomes sh in many places and on the at the same time on the west in gujarat sh becomes sa in many many places so there are i mean it's it's a little sad even though this is funny it's a it's very sad that many people who claim to be um you know teaching all these mantras and shastras and you know spiritual insights use the same make the same mistakes use that those same accents it is completely fine if those accents are present while they are speaking their mother tongues it's a part of their uh, their lingo but when chanting sanskrit terms it is extremely important to keep these distinctions in mind because this is the extent of the change in meaning that happens when uh, proper pronunciations are not taken care of once again the shloka goes yadyapi bahunadhishe tathapi pathaputra vyakaranam svajano svajana svajano ma bhut sakalam shakalam sakrit shakrit it's not just with sa and sh there are these distinctions that happen with many other varnas as well so other tragedies that could happen are you know between alpa prana sounds and maha prana sounds so the sound the is an alpa prana the sound dha is a maha prana so dharma dharyate dharti dharana dharma is that which sustains that which helps in the growth dharma where dha is not used but da is used is to destroy to to annihilate that is the same root from damana to to put down to destroy is dharma so this is an interchange of mahaprana and alpa prana sounds that is a tragedy there is another mistake that is very very commonly made which is to add an a or a e between in in front of sa sounds so instead of skanda some people say askanda it almost comes very naturally to them it's really tragic so spashta 
जैसे अस्पष्ट आई हैव हर्ड दिस सो मेनी टाइम्स वेयर अस्पष्ट रूप से बोलना है वेन समबडी इज ट्राइंग टू से यू हैव टू से इट क्लियरली सो वेन यू एड अ इन फ्रंट ऑफ साउंड लाइक दिस इट नेगेट्स द मीनिंग सो स्पष्ट इज क्लियर अस्पष्ट इज अनकलियर और कन्फ्यूजिंग सो दिस हैज टू बी टेकन केयर ऑफ सो आर दिस इज फॉर तेलुगु पीपल ऑल द तेलुगु पीपल आउट देयर द डिस्टिंगशन बिटवीन अ थ एंड अ ध अर्थ इज एसेंस अर्ध इज हाफ सो पीपल मेक दिस मिस्टेक मन मथ एंड मन मध दे मिक्स दीज टू वर्ड्स अप एस्पेशली वर्ड्स लाइक दिस बिटवीन अर्थ एंड अर्ध द मीनिंग इज सो ड्रास्टिक राइट सार्थम इज अलॉन्ग विद द मीनिंग सार्थम इज मेकिंग हाफ ऑफ इट सो दीज आर ऑल द मेनी डिजास्टर्स ऑफ मिस प्रोनाउंसिएशन सो देर आर two things that need to be kept in mind when it comes to clear pronunciation of any vedic chant so far we have been just looking at uh, stotras stutis sahasranamas you know some uh, very uh, mild laukika prayers and chants which are you know which which can be just you know which pa- which one can pass off through devotion so there is again this claim that uh, oh it's okay it's you know i'm i'm praying to my you know praying to the divine mother the divine father i'm praying with a lot of emotion in my heart so it will take me across it is not so we looked at the very first example for this twashta prayed with a lot of emotion it might it could have been a negative emotion he wanted revenge but still there was very very strong emotion in his heart which still did not work out in his favor because of a, a mispronunciation so here he was very clear with the varnas with the uchcharan of every varna but the swara went wrong so there is swara which is the tone of it and there is varna which is the letter itself the letter of the alphabet which is why the alphabet is called as varna mala so swaras and varnas need to be proper when chanting veda mantras especially so now that hopefully the importance of shuddha uchcharanam has been drilled enough um, i don't want to you know be a fear monger so much so there is it, it's not to you know um, to put you guys off of chanting and pronunciations for to learn the right kind of chants to for the right pronunciation what is the remedy so how do we avoid these kinds of tragedies in our lives how do we avoid this these kinds of disasters there is of course the maheshwara sutrani we already looked at those of you who, uh, those of you who went through vakshuddhi the course has gone through how to chant each and every letter of the sanskrit alphabet the varnamala in enormous detail in extreme detail so this a e u n r r k a o n g i a u c h y a v r a t l a n y a m a n g a n a n a m j a b a n y g a d h a d a s h j a b a g a d h a d a s h k h a p a c h a t h a t h a c h a t a t a v k a p a y s h a s h a s a r h a l these 14 sounds are all there are so once one can one masters these 14 sounds there is no longer any fear of making any mispronunciations with respect to the varnas right so th- i put this in sinhala script just to emphasize that you need not necessarily know devanagari script or in, you you can be from any language of bharat from gujarati malayalam bengali telugu kannada we have you know maheshwara sutrani in all these scripts these sounds do not you know limit themselves to any particular language any particular region so anybody who's you know who has an indic language as their mother tongue can take this up chant maheshwara sutrani and that will take care of varna uchcharanam varna shuddhata but <laughs> swaras of veda mantras is a completely different uh, exercise